Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News. It's Tuesday, February the 11th, 2014. I'm, uh, I've done my morning homework. I've gone through a bunch of press releases and found uh, a bunch that uh, I've got about nine companies today to talk about. Uh, they all had some very good news. I'm Alan Barry Labucan. I'm the uh, chief market commentator for Goracom. Uh, on, as I said, we've got about nine companies. I try to keep the show to around a 10-minute time frame. Might be uh, running a little bit longer today, um, but uh, that's only because there's lots of good news out there. So we'll get right to it. Uh, the first company I wanted to talk about today was Darwin Resources. Uh, they released um, uh, drill results from their uh, La Libertad project in Peru. Uh, had some good numbers in there. They had a 15.6-meter uh, intersection of 1 gram uh, per ton gold, uh, including 3.7 meters of 3.2 grams per ton gold. They had a 7.5-meter intersection of 2.3 grams per ton gold, uh, fairly close to the surface. So some good numbers in there uh, that I, uh, I find interesting. I'm just going to pull up their stock chart here. Having some problems with my uh, mouse at the moment. Uh, sorry about that. So uh, the stock today is down nine cents, uh, which is 52% uh, drop on uh, over one million shares of trading. Uh, they're trading at eight cents right now. Uh, just looking at the stock chart, and I did look at this earlier this morning before getting ready to do the show and I did notice that um, this was Apache Trader that recently had a, a pretty uh, good spike in the uh, stock price uh, and has now sort of come back to uh, reality there. I am interested in the drill results but the uh, stock chart doesn't give me a lot of confidence that it's going up uh, anytime soon. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on Darwin. Uh, their stock symbol is DAR, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Generate Media. Uh, Generate Media announced that they've uh, they've um, uh, brought a new person, uh, Jennifer Milone. I hope I pronounce that property properly. On as their managing director of visual. Uh, effects uh, for the company. She comes from uh, 20th Century Fox where she worked for, for a decade. Uh, she saw oversaw major films such as Life of Pi, Chronicle, The Night, of the Mu Night at the Museum franchise, and Titanic 3D. So this uh, little company from Vancouver uh, is able to um, attract uh, some pretty good people on there. Uh, I find that uh, very interesting. Um, just looking at the stock right now, and uh, it's up 14 cents today on 79,000 shares of trading. So the market really liked what they saw with this uh, new person uh, coming on board. Just looking at the stock chart, and um, it had a very good run from October until early January. Uh, it moved from around 20 cents to a dollar 74. Uh, has given back some of those gains, um, but it does look like it's now getting towards support. It's still trading above its 100-day moving average, but slightly below its 50-day and a fair bit below its 20-day. Uh, so I'd like to see those uh, those moving averages sort of converge. Uh, and then I think it uh, can be uh, heading upwards again. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, GNR is their stock uh, symbol, and they trade on the uh, Canadian Stock Exchange, or Securities Exchange, sorry. Uh, the next company up is Madalena Energy. Madalena Energy announced that they closed their $23 million bot deal financing. It's very good news when I see companies getting that kind of a, a bot deal commitment for a funding. Uh, didn't really do much to the stock today. The stock is at 60 cents, uh, flat on the day on 864,000 shares of trading. 
Uh, just uh, putting up their uh, stock chart now. Madalena Energy, I like this chart a lot. I've talked about this company before. I think I could feature it at the uh, end of this week's show. I, I like what I'm seeing. They had a good run from the July lows, trading at around 32 cents uh, back in July. Traded all the way up to uh, 83 cents uh, in January in a very nice trend has given back some of those gains. Now trading right at the 100-day moving average. Uh, I think that the uh, selling pressure is drying up and I think it's got a good chance of bouncing off this 100-day uh, moving average. The stock symbol is MVN and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Artec Exploration. Artec Exploration announced that they've um, uh, their 2014 capital program. Uh, they uh, currently have 4,800 barrels of oil equivalent production per day, and uh, they're planning on drilling 14 to 15 uh, new wells. Uh, their capital expenditure budget is between 61 to 66 million. So they're planning a very uh, significant program. Artec only has 66 million shares out. I like what I'm seeing there. Uh, they're down 17 cents today to $3.51 on 228,000 shares of trading. Uh, just pulling up their stock chart. And uh, they've, been, uh, they've been a pretty volatile sort of stock. But the general trend since back in April of 2013 has been bullish. Uh, they, the trend has been significantly more bullish starting in November. I'm really liking what I'm seeing there. This recent dip, I think, is a little bit uh, overdone. And they could be hitting support here. I can see myself talking about this one on the end of the week show as a pick. RTK is their stock symbol. They trade on the Toronto Exchange. Next up is Timmins Gold. Timmins Gold announced that they've uh, completed their and closed their uh, $28.38 million uh, bought deal financing. Uh, very good news for that company. Uh, just looking at the stock right now, it is up four cents to $1.57. Um, on 1.1 million shares trading. Just pulling up the stock chart now, and it's been uh, much improved since the December lows, uh, and it's in a sort of classic bullish trend now. Uh, I'm liking a lot of what I'm seeing with the trend on uh, Timmins Gold. I could see myself talking about the company on the uh, end of the week show. TMM is their stock symbol and they trade on Toronto. Next up is Richmond Mines, or Richmond Mines. Uh, they had uh, um, their forecast, they put out a corporate mineral reserve and resource estimate uh, that, and their um, non-cash write-downs. Uh, they had some good um, increases in their proven and probable uh, and um, you can find that on the company's uh, website with the, today's press release. Stock is up six cents today to a dollar eighty-eight on twenty-seven thousand shares trading. Um, just looking at their one-year chart, and uh, this one's really got off to a great start in January. Uh, it began the year trading around a dollar five and is now up to $1.85 uh, on a very classically sort of bullish trend here. Uh, higher highs, higher lows, and a very narrow trading range. Those tend to be the kind of trends that uh, can continue for quite some time. All, all trading above the 2050 and 100 day moving averages. I'm liking what I'm seeing in the stock chart and from the news. RIC is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. Next up is Scorpio Gold. Uh, Scorpio Gold had drill results out from their ridge, uh, Mineral Ridge project in Nevada. Uh, and they uh, had 3.10 grams per ton gold 
over 9.14 meters at their Mary LC zone. Uh, so they had some very good uh, intersections in there. Uh, you can find a table with the various different holes, um, but they've they've hit 3.1 meters over nine or 3.1 grams over nine meters of gold, 2.86 grams per ton gold over six meters, and there's more like that in the and the drilling. Just looking at the stock chart right now, stocks up a penny today to 30 cents on uh, 74,000 shares trading. Um, the uh, stock chart, they got off to a much better uh, trend starting in late November, early December, and then uh, sort of went sideways for most of January, for all of January and February, practically. Now I want to see confirmation that they're uh, in a in a ready to rally from that. So we'll have to keep an eye on on that um, uh, trend. For the company, uh, SGN is their stock symbol, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Integra Gold. Integra Gold had some very good drill results out. Uh, for example, they hit 95.86 grams per ton gold over two meters, and 11.24 grams per ton gold over nine meters, and that confirms the continuity grade vein number seven at uh, at the parallel zone uh, on their project in Val d'Or, Quebec. Um, so very good results there. Just uh, pulling up the stock chart now. Uh, the stock's up 10 cents today. That's a 41.7 percent move. Uh, they're trading at 34 cents on one point, uh, just a little over one million shares traded so far. Uh, this is a spike move. I've got to wait to see, see the, uh, the spike settle down, um, but um, very good results there. Uh, the, stock is, the stock symbol is ICG, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. And the final news today is from Rubicon Minerals. This company actually had two news releases out today. One of those news releases was that they've entered into a $75 million uh, US dollar gold stream agreement uh, to in, to uh, finance the project construction, and that was the second press release that they had out, which was that they uh, have achieved a construction const a construction milestone. Um, they've now uh, got their um, their uh, total shaft depth is now 730 meters. Um, this is a very significant uh, development for the company. Sinking that shaft will open the uh, discovery up quite significantly for them. Yes, it's expensive, but when, when, once it's done, uh, this will help the company move the project forward uh, very significantly. I'm a big fan of Rubicon's project in Red Lake, Ontario. Uh, the market liked the news. They're up 13 cents, which is an 8.1% move today. To a dollar dollar seventy three on one point five million shares traded hands. Uh, the stock has been performing much better since December lows. December it was at seventy five cents. Uh, has since then has traded as high as about a dollar seventy five, and uh, and then today made that pretty good move. It's now trading about the twenty fifty and hundred day moving averages. Uh, I definitely will be talking about this company at the end of the week show. RMX is their stock symbol, and they trade on the Toronto Exchange. So that's um, all the news for today. Um, as always, before making any investment decisions, it's important for you to speak with your financial advisor and uh, do your homework. Uh, join us Monday through Friday. Uh, at uh, gorecom.com on the main page uh, or also on my website for our daily news shows Monday through Thursday and then at the end of the week show on those two locations as well. Uh, I mean at the end of the week we do our wrap-up show with uh, George Cholis and I um, and uh, I think you'll enjoy those as well. On that note you have a great day and we will talk to you soon.